Age five, hands in hand, Riley told herself that one day she would be as famous as Pablo Picasso, clearly a visionary from a young age. Her grandparents would send her endless art books about impressionistic painters, and when Riley turned eight, they sent her an easel with everything she would need to begin. It was overwhelming to have a real easel. In elementary school, Riley's teachers were blown away by her work, and classmates would ask her to help them draw a reindeer for holiday arts and crafts. But when middle school came along, Art wasn't really the cool thing, and Riley started getting more involved with dance and soccer and homework to really take the time to draw much like she used to. High school presented a fast pace and high stress lifestyle that Riley enjoyed all that she was doing and mostly got straight A's. So as a senior, she decided she would go into science so she could pursue physical therapy. Art was still there for the occasional expression of a broken, angsty teenage girl heart. But college came, and it was suddenly a very different world. Yes, she was double majoring in health sciences and dance, taking 11 classes each semester, and yes, it was extremely difficult, but she began to feel unsuccessful for the first time because she wasn't even happy. She had stopped wanting to do the work, and this was very unlike her. Why was she killing herself for something she didn't even like? Riley was pulling multiple all-nighters and dreaded every part of it. She wanted to be fighting for something that she loved, not working for something that was simultaneously killing her. She had to make some changes. So she did. Riley spent two weeks doing some soul searching. And one day, while on the phone with Katie Newton, her childhood best friend, Riley heard the words her heart wanted to hear, but had been too scared to hear before. Why don't you major in art? So a month later, Riley declared a split major between art practice and dance. And she told her friends some would congratulate her with excitement. Others would say with a bitterness, Oh, well, that's fun. But what are you going to do with it? And she only almost lost it once when an old man at church told her she would have to go find a rich man. But now, Two years later, Riley is so happy. I am so happy. I just got back from a semester abroad in Aix-en-Provence, France, studying at the Marchute School of Fine Arts where I got to paint with oils and use an easel every day. I became a student looking out into the field, learning to paint the violet hues in relation to the yellow that glow. Atop feathering buds, I got to grapple with creating a volume on a canvas vaster than physically comprehensible, much like the nature that was teaching me. Studying the ancient impressionistic masters I had read about from a young age became a daily pastime, and everything was right. I know now I made the right choice, but I wouldn't have ever made it here if I didn't give up what society was telling me to do for something I knew was better for me. It terrified me at the time, but I did it because it terrified me. And yeah, I'm still scared, but I'll never stop chasing that flame that makes my soul burn. Some things are worth the sacrifice. Be bold. Get lost. Grow.